This year is the International Year of Quantum. So here at APS, we have a lot of sessions that... Okay, that's Kelsey Ortiz, and she's got a quantum experiment on the ISS. I'm gonna go see if I can get an interview. Can I get an interview with you about your research? Yeah, of course. Let's go. So I was really excited when I heard about your research. Could you tell me more about your experiment? Yeah, so my main experiment is called SEEK. It stands for Space Entanglement in Annealing Quantum Experiment. And essentially what it is, it's an entanglement source in a really small box, about the size of a shoebox. We have two main goals for this experiment. One is to create and verify entanglement in space and be able to show that we have a source that is robust enough to survive. And then the second goal is actually to test uh, radiation damage mm -hmm. on our single photon detectors. We actually want to heal that radiation damage through laser annealing, which is essentially just heating up the detectors with a high power laser and reducing the noise and damage that's caused by the radiation damage on the detectors. So I'm really interested, why did you send your experiment onto the ISS? Yeah, that's a great question. So SEEK uh, is like a stepping stone to creating a future quantum network. We're trying to build a quantum network that distributes uh, entangled photons. And so there are advantages into going into space and being able to reach larger distances that way. So we have really sensitive detectors that are avalanche photodiodes that need to measure a single photon. So they're extremely sensitive, but that also makes them vulnerable to the space radiation. And then we can't carry out our quantum experiments. So we're testing um, SEEK to see how long it could be in the space environment and how long it gets the radiation damage and then how we can actually heal that and increase the lifetime of the payload. Excellent. And what are the long-term applications for this kind of research? Yeah, so the long-term application would be one, um, to build the quantum network connecting future quantum computers. Another application is doing different kinds of sensing. So there are some protocols out there that um, could use these entangled photons at really far distances to do stuff like improve quantum telescopy um, and other sensing applications. Oh, that's been so interesting. Thank you so much. I should let you get back to your session that I stole you from. Oh, no worries. But I loved hearing about your research. Thanks so much for Thank talking. Thank you. Me.